Hello students a very warm welcome to Saurav sir's classes today's tutorial will be on ISI MSQE quantitative economics in case of any query you can contact us on 9836793076 and if you wish to know more about us you can check in our website which is www.saurasarclasses.com in today's tutorial we will start with paper that is year 2016 and we will try to answer question number 1 today the question reads as consider an exchange economy okay so there should be at least two individual or two countries consisting of two individuals one and two and two goods named as x and y the utility function for one is given to be this and that for two is this okay now xi is the amount that is consumed amount of x consumed by individual i and same goes for y i now individual one has four units of x and eight units of y while a different combination is given for individual 2 okay now the first question the first part of the question asks us that what is the set of pareto optimal outcome in this economy and we need to justify our answer as well so let's get started now all the set of feasible allocation that will satisfy satisfy y2 is equal to x2 will be considered as set of pareto efficient allocations so the criteria is that the feasible allocation satisfying this condition will be termed as pareto efficient allocation now any feasible allocation say it is given by x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 that will satisfy the condition y2 less than x2 will not be considered efficient why because reducing the amount of commodity x consumed by individual 2 by a very small magnitude so small magnitude will not affect will not have any effect to satisfaction level okay but when we add so addition to ones bundle that means individual ones bundle will actually cause ones satisfaction level to rise and that is why this will not be considered as efficient okay so let me explain it to you using a graph so here i have drawn the axis okay now let me mark it so this is the origin so 0 2 4 5 Eight and ten, okay. And on this axis, I am measuring x one, while on the other vertical axis, it is y one, okay. And this becomes two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. On the this axis i'll be measuring x2 so it will be this way so origin starts from here so it is 0 and 0 again we have 
4, 6, 8 and 10 and same goes for y2 so it will be this way so 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12 we'll repeat the same thing for this and we'll get so this is how it will look like now using the information I'll make the other things that is required in the graph so I'm joining the origin and two and then I'll the points I'll take another color let me pick white here and then I'll get seven and seven so it's here so joining it using a white line okay I need to make a alteration I repeat the same thing for the other diagram as well so it's like this and then at 4 comma 4 so x2 y2 like this now what we see is that at this point so let me mark it first so this is the final outcome of the two diagram now what does that the two diagram depicts confused let me explain now in the two graphs which you can see here alpha is one such allocation okay and moving if you move towards so moving towards beta what we get we get that at this point okay so that means we are concerned about this point so at this point there is the satisfaction this point actually denotes that the satisfaction level of 1 to go up but but not at the cost of reduction in individual two's level of satisfaction isn't it that means for one the level of satisfaction increases but for two it is not reducing okay similarly any allocation given by x1 y1 and x2 y2 that will satisfy this condition or this norm will be not efficient now the question is why the allocation y2 is equal to x2 is consider consider to be Pareto optimal so just look at this graph that has been drawn along the along the side so if there is any deviation from it then the conclusion or the result will be the satisfaction level of one will improve so if the satisfaction level of any one so of any one if it improves then it will ha it will cause 
the satisfaction level of the other to fall so in this graph we have seen that beta is the point denoted by beta is efficient because any movement to the shaded region so this is the shaded region and this is also the shaded region so any movement to the shaded region will benefit one of them but at the cost of satisfaction or loss of satisfaction level of uh, of the other okay now with this we move on to the next part of the question so let's read the question first now the next part of the question says what is the competitive equilibrium in this economy and the following question is are the perfectly competitive equilibria pareto optimal so we will answer both these questions or part of the question together so let's do it so now we will solve for competitive equilibrium now let so this is for competitive equilibrium so what we see that let so first assumption py is equal to 1 so the demand of individual one is given as x1 comma y1 px and now we'll write the function or the values okay so it will take the value 4px plus 8 by px comma 0 and this will happen if let me change the color so it will be if px is less than 1 okay now the second set of coordinates will be 0 4 px plus 8 or values and this will appear if and only if px is greater than 1 and so last one yes you have guessed it correct it will be px equal to 1 so it will be 12 theta comma 12 1 minus theta bracket closes where theta belongs to the close interval is given 0 comma 1 bracket close and this will happen if px is equal to 1 okay now given this and for so let us write for individual 2 also x2 comma y2 px and this will be 6pz plus 4 by so let me make it will be x plus 4 by px plus 1 comma 6px plus 4 by px plus 1 therefore px is equal to 1 is the market clearing price okay and equilibrium allocation will be given by
फाइव कॉमा सेवन एंड फाइव कॉमा फाइव एंड वी ऑल्सो नोटिस दैट दिस एलोकेशन इज पैरेटो ऑप्टिम and you can verify this using this graph in this graph let me tell you that the line indicated by the color this and white actually tells us about endowments okay this white dotted line which you can see here actually denotes the pareto efficient allocation while the one denoted by yellow color is actually represent competitive equilibrium lastly we will move we move on to the last part of the question the this part 4 says now consider another economy where everything is same okay apart from individual two preference which are as follows now among any two any bundle consisting of x and y individual two prefers the bundle which has larger amount of commodity x and irrespective that means he doesn't care about the amount of commodity y in the two bundles and part b says between any two bundles with the same amount of x she prefers one with the larger amount of so let us do a first then we will move on to b and in this we need to find out the set of pareto optimal outcomes 